We're here today to protest outside the Gravesham Council offices because we believe that the carpenters, decorators, multi-traders, electricians, plumbers, the ones who go out doing the social hours and repairs are being picked on by the council. The council want to get them on seven day working. The guys have been doing a traditional five day working week and that means then that the productivity bonus that they've been earning for years will be affected and if you don't accept the new contract then it's dismissal re-engagement. Now this group of workers has done a great job for the community out there and their basic salary starting rate is £18,000. Some of them have been earning with the productivity bonus about 30 grand, not a fortune, but it's this money that they've earned doing long hours, no overtime premiums. These proposals, if implemented, will mean a pay cut of between two and ten thousand pounds. And Unite's here today to say there's no justice in that. It's job evaluation. The banding level can be thousands of pounds differential. And we know that the majority of our members will end up on the lower scale. Our union rep's been victimised, we believe already. He's going to end up being the bottom of the scale. <laughs> We've got a, a sector out there in construction where you've got umbrella companies, self-employment, but they're quite brutal, those employers. We expect better from a, a local authority in dealing with a union and we want proper consultation. Why should one group of workers suddenly then take a, a big pay cut when no other group of workers in the council is being picked on? That's why we're here to try and stem the tide of these uh, pay, pay cuts because they will, they, will be, they will be affected badly. My right, brothers! We want proper consultation, we want a local agreement, we want some pay protection put in place so these group of workers don't lose thousands of pounds. The next step will be a serious meeting with the members to see if they want a ballot for industrial action, but at the same time we will um, keep our protests going. How could these councillors afford to take an instant pay cut of thousands of pounds? There's no justification for it. One group of workers in the council are being picked on.